Yesterday, I asked you to let me fix your avatars and profile pics, which I did using today's sponsor, the LG Graham. And to show how powerful it is, I live streamed both the photoshopping and video editing process all from the Graham. So let's get started and fix your SpongeBob, BTS, and default pic avatars. The first one says, I was a mistake. A little harsh, but let's see what we got. Okay, all right, here's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna turn that frown upside down because we're gonna make you more confident. Next, let's give you the DreamWorks face for ultimate smugness. Now what's cooler than a Minecraft hat? That's right, nothing. So you're getting a Minecraft hat, baby. <laughs> now let's get you out of the house and into the club and your profile pic is now a blurry selfie. Dude, I feel threatened by that profile pic, which means I think we fixed it. Next. Haven't changed this picture for eight years. Eight years, huh? Time for a tune-up. There's so much that could be happening on the left side of the frame. I have a terrible idea. First, I need a shot of me with an empty dog leash out in front, as if my dog just escaped. I record a few takes of that just in case, then picked one frame and went to work. Next, I needed a shot of Klondike walking toward camera, because once you add a little motion blur, it really looks like a shot from a Planet Earth documentary. You're looking at the last few seconds of my dog's life. Neato! <laughs> me, me, unfixable boy. Okay, I'll be the judge of that, thanks. Aw, oh, I love birds with arms. It's its own subgenre. In fact, I think there's even a subreddit for it. But if your goose has human arms, shouldn't it have human legs too? So let's give us some legs to stand on. And if these legs look familiar, that's cause they're my legs. Now something else caught my attention. Geese are super hot right now because of Untitled Goose Game. So let's capitalize on this hot topic and put the sign from the game in the background. But of course, now we need to change the shape of the silhouette into our more leggy figure. Boom! Your profile pic is now a meme with a limited shelf life. Use wisely. All right, let's take a look at this pic. Uh-oh, it's BTS. I need to tread lightly here because BTS armies are notorious for canceling noted celebrities like myself at the drop of a hat. I mean, this is a fine picture, but you did ask me to fix it. So fix it, I will. I'm going to beautify the boys' faces a little bit and make them look extra pretty. I don't want to change this pic too much though, so you might not even notice the difference. It's super subtle. Only professionals can really tell. And there you go. Please enjoy your new and improved BTS avatar. Please don't kill me. Benji the furry says, have a go with mine. Now, I got a lot of furry requests today, but I can really only do one. So Benji, you're up, kid. Now this is great artwork. Lots of detail, love the colors. One thing I would do though, is create a little drop shadow right behind you, just to separate your persona from the background more. You know, really make you pop. Next, I'd put you behind bars where all furries belong. Then I'd throw you in Alcatraz so you can't escape. And then I would put Alcatraz on the moon. Then I would nuke the moon. <laughs> I kid because I know you can take it. Now go to jail. Can you replace Homer Simpson's face with mine? Thanks in advance. I will do my best. So here's your Homer avatar, and you were kind enough to supply a picture of your face. So we have to put your face inside Homer's shape. This was surprisingly hard for me. It sounds easy at first, but there was a ton of experimental stretching of the facial features to make everything fit. Overall, I ended up with three horrific images, but I think this one is the best Homer. I'm not terribly proud of it, but I'm certainly not redoing it either. Luca, Luca, you're a big ol' hot dog boy, Luca. Look out everyone, he's got an iPhone 11. So what if, instead of a hot dog boy holding an iPhone, we did an iPhone holding a hot dog boy? Uh, absolutely. We have reached Peak stupid. Ah, uh, this was a lot of fun to do. But once I got there, I thought, well, shouldn't he be holding a mini hot dog boy now? So of course I did that, and now our terrible experiment is complete. An iPhone holding a hot dog boy, holding a little hot dog boy. We can all die now. Oh no, you don't have one. You have that default boring one that's just the first letter of your username. How droll. It's okay, I'm a genius. So let's give your O a little face. You know, 
like an O face. Jack's Films is a family friendly show. Uh, I don't think you have to fix mine. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just see it if you're so cocky. Okay, first off, I already love this pick. I'm a huge fan of this. If anything, I want more of it. So we're going to turn your face into an emoji. And we're gonna do that by flipping and reversing your chins. Then we're just gonna kind of blend it all in roughly. Oh cool, now you look like a little celestial orb. Fix your face, help. I look big sad. Oh no, why are you upsetty? Let's give you something to be happy about. First we'll give you a very natural smile, mm-hmm. Then we'll make your eyes round and huge because you're just so darn happy. You're about to see Cats the Movie in a theater near you. And you're so excited for that digital fur technology. Boom, fixed your attitude. All right, a new challenger approaches. What have you wrought? Ah, Patrick. Patrick is such a relatable character because he exemplifies our own faults. We don't laugh at him, but rather with him because he mirrors our flaws. His failures aren't merely for the sake of portraying him as a fool. Rather, he reminds us that to err is human, inevitable, part of life. So I gave him two plagues. <laughs> um, here's the time lapse in case you feel cheated. Okay, bye bye. I need something better than a movie frame. Ah, I see, Detective Pikachu. Well, the obvious answer is to take Ryan Reynolds' face and put it on Pikachu, right? So we'll just do that. This was really annoying for some reason. I took way too long on the nose, but overall, I have to say that, uh, no, I hate it. <laughs> really hate this one. It looks like the annoying orange. This is my mulligan, all right? They can't all be winners. Fix my cat or something. Oh, I'll fix it all right. I'm gonna fix it right out of the picture. No offense, I don't like cats. They're not friendly, they lurk, they don't emote. Delete them. Even the worst dog is better than the best cat, which is exactly why I'm replacing it with Sunday. Give her a little shadow. Oh, so nice. I fixed your cat on hard mode, dude. And finally, the hardest one. Another default pick, just the letter K. The only thing I would do for this one is uh, give it a period. So now it looks like a passive aggressive text from your girlfriend who's mad at you, but you don't know why she's mad, so you ask her and she says it's fine. She's not fine. So this is my home base. This is where I edit most of my videos. But I've done a lot of traveling this year, and this isn't exactly portable, and oops, I still have videos to work on, and thumbnails to make. And when I'm working mobily, I don't want something like Photoshop Lite or Adobe Premiere Lite, I want the big boy versions. I need to edit 4K footage at 60 frames per second. I need a powerful machine. Enter the LG Gram, which has saved my butt a number of times this year. For example, a few months ago, we had to fly out to the East Coast, but I still had a sponsored video to finish. So I transferred my whole project from my home base to my gram, and it handled it like a champ, renders video very quickly. Earlier this year, Aaron needed our office to make a phone call, so I went to our bedroom and streamed on Twitch to play Jackbox with my viewers. All from the gram, all from our bed. No second display needed. And sometimes, I want to work outside. You can get a little cooped up in the office, you know what I mean? Oh. LG's doing a giveaway. Yeah, three winners get a 17-inch LG Gram, what this is, and 50 winners get a $10 Amazon gift card. Here's how to enter. Follow LG Techit on Instagram, and then comment on my video on the LG Techit account, and let us know why you want to upgrade to the LG Gram over your current frustrating laptop. You can also post to your personal Instagram and share why you want to make the switch. Whatever method you choose, be sure to tag LG Techit and Jax Films and use the hashtag LG Gram and get Gram be free. You'll increase your chances to win an LG Gram if you both post and comment. It starts today, October 31st, and ends November 13th. Winners will be announced on November 20th. Click the link in the description below for more info on the LG Gram. Oh, I have a question for you. I'm out of YI questions. What should I ask next? It's hard, man. Leave your answers in the comments below. I'll pick my favorites in the next episode of Yai. Please subscribe if you want me to fix your avatar. Also, click right here to see the previous Yai episode. Um, here's a clip. Video games cause violence, phone, bad books.
Oh, God.